Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range and I'm here in Finland at uh, the Hatila shooting complex and we've just uh, finished helping run and shooting the uh, Esera Etela Heme um, Hatila 2022 match which was absolutely fantastic so more content on Bloke on the Range on that elsewhere and on loads of random tiny Finnish channels because loads of people post their footage and it's actually kind of cool if you yes. find it. Anyway I'm joined here by Jenny Koskimaki hey. and Laura Viskari two uh, particularly prominent ladies in the in the community and uh, and on on social media both on Instagram I'll uh, link to them in in the description below so look them up and um, what we thought we'd talk about is uh, what's been happening with SRA, SRA shooting uh, with get trying to get more women involved because mm. uh, these two have been quite uh, quite key in promoting that in this area so first of all um, We'll just introduce the two ladies, or we'll let them introduce themselves rather. A um, bit of a brief background of how you got into shooting and so on. And uh, we'll let you go first because you've been on the channel before. <coughs> Excuse me, I was shouting at the competitors all day yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> so my name is Jenny Koskimaki, and I've been uh, shooting SRA since 2018. That's when I got my SRA course done and my own guns. and. Uh, yeah, we shot the Hatila 21 last year. This year, sadly, I couldn't shoot this match because of health problems, but I still had a lot of fun. Yes, and I'm Laura Viskari. I originally got my SRA license uh, 2019 and my own guns 2021, so it hasn't been that long active uh, shooting. Uh, last year was my first Hatila match. I kind of wanted to say that I'm a rookie, but <laughs> since I got... Uh, Lady Silver yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that anymore. So obviously some progress has been happening in the last <laughs> year or two. <laughs> so um, what made you choose SRR shooting as opposed to sort of static ISSF rifle, handgun, something like that? It's fun. Yeah, it, it's, it's super fun. fun. <laughs> when you see the videos, uh, people shooting it, it's, it looks so much fun. And then you see like the shooters are... <clears throat> middle-aged, bearded, beer belly guys. <laughs> <laughs> so if they can do it, so can we. Yes. <clears throat> also, of course, there's the like reservist point of view, since we both are reservists. But other than that, who doesn't want to shoot that? <laughs> exactly. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah. Jenny, can, can, can you arrange it for me to be here? And we had that whole story last year with a series of, series of videos on that. So what are the challenges with getting involved in the first place? Well, I feel like, I mean, there's of course a reason because there are guns and, and laws and all that involved. There's like kind of a bar set up somewhere that you kind of have to know how to get over. Uh, so, well, for me, it was knowing someone because you can't shoot without guns and you can't buy guns without shooting. <laughs> so I, I feel like that's like the main I'm not going to say problem, but a challenge. You kind of have to know someone or, or where to start so you can start. That's mm -hmm. obvious. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in terms of clubs, could uh, could someone just turn up at a... Find, find out where the local club was and turn up and say, Hi, I'm me. Yeah, absolutely. Basically. Yeah. And that if, you don't, if you don't know anyone who shoots, uh, then that's the only option you have. Like mm. Google mm. what's the nearest club or the best club near you and... Uh, Call the uh, call the person responsible and ask like, hey, can I come and see how you train or something? Mm -hmm. And um, okay, there's the reservist angle, but it's not exclusively a discipline for reservists. Um, so, sort of in terms of getting in more lady shooters who are not reservists and haven't been exposed to that world, um, how does how does that tend to go? That's uh, <coughs> that's really tricky. Yeah, that's kind of what we're on here. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, I feel like, uh, well, now they're coming from Instagram. So mm. <laughs> that's good, right? And then from friends, they've heard someone doing this and someone doing that. Some are like people's wives or girlfriends come here and, and take a look what it's like. But, well, now I'm just t talking about ladies, but other, other civilians, I feel like, the problem is the lack of knowledge like 
most people don't even know about the discipline that we shoot here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, EHSR ladies had, has done a good job in promoting the sport for ladies, and that's how we got more civilian shooters in. Mm. So did the calendar sell well last year? <laughs> <laughs> it sells well every year, but that's not the thing. <laughs> it's the like social media telling telling openly about guns and the sport. Mm. It's a it's a normal hobby for normal people. Mm. Yes. Mm. And have you had pushback from from sort of the old fuds, as it were? I don't know if you have a finished <laughs> term for them uh, with mm. with getting more ladies involved, or has it been a, mostly a positive experience? Well, uh, <clears throat> starting out when there weren't that many ladies in in our area or shooting SRA in Finland, it's uh, it was different than what it is now. Mm-hmm. Now there's a there's a strong female community who support each other and arrange their own uh, shooting uh, rehearsal sorry practices and stuff like that. But yeah, at first <clears throat> uh, you could get like you would be looked at funny <laughs> and like everyone follows <clears throat> everyone follows you and waits for you to make a mistake or something you know they what they watch watch you all the time because you're a woman and you get a lot of attention from just being at the range and the, for the like for example what I've talked with other women, the general assumption first is that, okay, she's a woman, so she doesn't know what to do with guns or she's an unsafe shooter. And you outshoot mo- most of the men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that, um, I haven't had many bad experiences, but it's probably because of Yen started mm-hmm. the whole thing. And now there are so many lady shooters, at least in Eho Asara, like area that uh, that everyone has already gotten used to us. They know that Yeni beats their ass in the <laughs> matches. <laughs> so I, I really like I it. <laughs> but somebody kind of like had to do it first mm-hmm. to kind of like get the bat to others. But like I haven't had many bad experiences mm-hmm. and that's that's really good. Of course, um, uh, does unsolicited advice sound familiar <laughs> to you? <laughs> Very familiar. <Yes. laughs> so things like that. Uh, but at least not like our guys. They they already know, no. But yeah, our our community is very laid back. Our community, our shooting community here at Ehosera is really good. They there's a good team spirit. Everyone's invited. Yeah, they're an excellent lot. Yeah, and having just hung out a few nights here. <laughs> lots of fun <laughs> maybe a little it, it wouldn't be Finland without it yeah. <laughs> or sound. Mm. but I, I, st- I still like to compare to for example uh, IBSC pistol shooting there's a lot of ladies doing that and uh, it's more more common to have ladies in there but uh, somehow like it was for me the first impression of reservist uh, things, reservist uh, hobbies is that it's for middle-aged men. Mm. Mm. And everything has been like designed by that. Like, yeah. like let's say we're in a competition that lasts three days and you have to sleep somewhere. Well, you don't have your own any like showers or anything like that. So you kind of have to be loud first that, hey, I'm here. I, I need a shower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to take a shower. No one else is coming here. So everything has been kind of like designed for men. Um, I don't feel like it's that big of a problem anymore. Also, because it's a reservist hobby, there has been females in reserve for only 30 since, years now. Since, ni- mm-hmm. since the 90s. Yeah, 95, yeah. I think. So, kind of, there's all the time more more women in these sports uh, during uh, hobbies like this, shooting sports, reservist, other activities, mm-hmm. also active duty. So, I feel like the slow conquering of the world is going on and it's going well (laughs) so yeah i was was actually going to lead into ipsc because you do handgun and rifle or Uh, just rifle these days well uh, mini rifle pcc rifle i've done some uh, tree gun uh, ipsc tree gun and uh, shotgun yeah and in terms of developing female participation in that is there any difference or does it is it viewed in a sort of softer manner in in Finland that it's less well it's all middle-aged men mostly it's shooting 
Yeah, but I, I feel like in IBSC there's more more women there. Mm -hmm. Just uh, because uh, reservist shooting has that label of being for guys, and okay. guys are like reservists are mostly guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyone can shoot SRA. Mm -hmm. Surprising number of of ladies at the match uh, yesterday. Not in not in every squad, but there were. Yeah. How many were there all together? I think uh, Over uh, ten. 11 shot the match, if I'm not wrong. Okay. And 14 was actually um, supposed to attend. So okay. that's great. And there was ladies from elsewhere than Ewasara too. So yeah, that's really Finland. nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and one came from Estonia. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. She was, cool. She's <laughs> been here before. And I think that's amazing. There's... Uh, there's like Asara as a discipline is kind of like spreading now. There was some some other countries too mm. involved. Mm. As, an, as an aside, the, the um, Pascal who's been on the channel is sort of trying to work out if we can run something similar in in Switzerland, but we don't have facilities like this. <laughs> Not um, yet. <laughs> no. The problem, well, the problem is that you can't now because unless the army owns it, you can't oh. shoot into the ground in Switzerland anymore because they've decided to try and. Screw down on shooting through environmental regulations, which brings us nicely onto the next topic mm -hmm. because we've all suffered from the implementation of the 2019 EU firearms directive. Mm. And in Switzerland, there were a few um, uh, lady voices who were quite prominent in the in the traditional media as mm -hmm. well as on 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 social media. And uh, did you did you find that there was an impact there on the on the political front, having not just middle aged fat guys? <laughs> Well, I haven't seen any like lopputulos, uh, like uh, any effect. <laughs> oh, Sorry. Okay. So, so no, I haven't seen any effect. But I feel like uh, just being loud in social media and on the internet must have an uh, an impact at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like um, uh, for ladies, of course, and other other civilians that haven't like touched a gun in their whole life it's easy being against them when you don't know anything about the sport and and i feel like lately it's ha it's uh, the illegal guns that's the problem mm -hmm. people who spend money time send papers and want to get their licenses we're not the problem mm -hmm. <laughs> mostly mm -hmm. so I, I i i think it's good that the process is very strict but it still has to be uh, possible for for like sports shooters like us to have our guns to do the sport and and uh, I'm I'm very glad to introduce someone to sport shooting who doesn't know and maybe like is scared of it and thinks that every guns need to be banned uh, because mostly it's the lack of knowledge mm. that, that mm. it's one of oh, touching on politics but it's one of the few Ooh. topics of public <laughs> policy where where it's like the high status fashionable opinion is complete and utter ignorance but believing they know things yeah you just yeah don't look in social media on on the u.s on that right um, yeah. well, right in reality for example in finland the most like the lo most law-abiding people are gun owners <laughs> because you can lose your guns like this yes. yeah <laughs> yeah in switzerland run a red light twice within a 10-year period <laughs> and you lose your guns <laughs> so we're very we are we're very 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 careful very very law-abiding because you put a foot wrong yeah. it's not a even in switzerland where ownership is a right you can become a prohibited person yeah. And lose that right quite, quite easily. Um, but yeah, certainly, uh, certainly in, uh, in 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 uh, in in Switzerland, having um, having Ines Kessler as one of the main spokespeople on like on panel show, panel shows and debate shows was was brilliant. It really helped soften it. And ultimately, we ended up with a very soft implementation, like the softest. Yes. It's like literally, we'll just fiddle a few things and somehow get the EU to sign off on it and the implementation here hasn't been too too terrible you yeah. can, it's not like Germany where you can't even buy a more than 10 round <laughs> rifle mag anymore at mm -hmm. all let alone use it yeah you just have to be able to prove that you actually shoot a sport or you're a hunter and uh, that you're active active shooter mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah I mean which didn't change from before no, I so didn't. much. No, not that much, and and we had the like really strong like 
reservist point of view mm-hmm. to the gun laws, which is good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to go too deep into politics here, but keeping the lady point of view, I actually once um, read a story about a lady who had uh, started dating a guy, mm-hmm. and and she knew that that he did like some kind of shooting, and I think this was from like an internet forum or something, so it might be. It might not be true, but she wrote that that she had just realized that he has so many guns. He has like ten guns, like <laughs> only guns, ten. that many, and and was like thinking about ending the relationship because of that. And I was just like, wait, so the guy is background checked? <laughs> That's good, right? He uh, has many guns, guns, so he has good income. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does sports, maybe. Yeah. Um, Uh, has maybe nice friends doing the sports, goes outside to do the sports, <laughs> like I don't see a problem in that <laughs> but that's kind of sad because think about it, someone wants to end a relationship because of your hobby includes guns that are licensed mm-hmm. and are legal that's scary and that's kind of where we need the knowledge <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, what you guys are doing promoting it uh here in Finland and what I hope I do with the channel is just like we're just normal people who have a hobby <laughs> yes, that involves exactly. bang sticks normal people with normal hobbies <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> special kind of. people with uh, normal hobbies <laughs> <laughs> so anything else to add? thank you for coming it was so well, thank you for great inviting to me as always <laughs> I thanks for I, having us here oh, yeah. absolute pleasure we'd actually been planning this for several times but doing it Having the time to do it when we're not all completely, completely yeah. <laughs> tired out of our brains after shooting or working the match. Yeah. We're, we're hit. We're in the morning, so we've all slept at least four hours. At least, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's nice to be able to do it. And we thought, oh, shall we? We'll just we'll just keep putting it off and putting it off. So otherwise, I'd still be in bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> so well, thank you very much for for having me. I can't stay away. I just need the time. <laughs> Donate more on, pay- on 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 Patreon so that I can uh, <laughs> I can spend more time doing this and not the day job. So uh, anyway, yeah, thanks very much for having me. Thank you so much for thank you talking. Thanks. And uh, yeah, thanks to everyone who makes this whole thing possible. Right from the organization, the reservist um, organization. Uh, should we touch on the Russia thing quickly before we go? Or If you not? want to. <laughs> Do you really want to? Mm, let's just no, say they're right next door <laughs> and that this is a thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks to patrons who uh, fund these endeavors and uh, see you again sometime. Bye. Bye.